Baby slow. All right, everyone, this is Tim with the Online Big Blue, bringing you the best of New York Jack Sports Talk and Entertainment. We're doing a second video today, even after a stream, so that's three videos. I can even count that high. Uh, Ken Dorsey, of course, turned down the New York football giants in reference to their offensive coordinator position, which I am fine with because it's time to put some pep in the step. Pep Hamilton needs to come in and become the New York Giants offensive coordinator. Now, I'm going to tell you this right now. I am not unbiased when it comes to Pep Hamilton. He actually, a friend of mine, is friends with Pep, and I have met Pep uh, twice. And we're, not, we're not buddies. We're not friends. We're not, we're not, uh, we don't hang out. But we've, we've met, tw like I said, we've met twice. And my friend is a very good friend of his. And um, from what I'm hearing from him, that Alphonse, I think it's Alphonse, I can't remember, uh, Pep Hamilton should be massively considered for the New York Giants football. Also, I'm just in their position. Now, I've seen some stupid stuff from people online, like Table developed Josh Allen, the guy from, the guy from KC who's been in the league for a hiccup. He's been in the, he, he, he was, I believe he was a graduate assistant in 16, so he didn't develop Patrick Mahomes. And Pep didn't develop Justin Herbert. These guys had talent before they came into the league. They helped cultivate the talent. They, they, didn't, they didn't build the talent. Now, Pep has had a very, very long career going back to 1997. He was actually the quarterback's coach over at Howard. And then from 99, 2001, he was the offensive coordinator. And then it was funny, though, because he went to the Jets. He was a quarterback coach of the Jets. He was a wide receiver coach of the Jets. He was over at the 49ers. He was with the Bears from 2007 to 2009 in the quarterback position as well. He went to Stanford. Excuse me. Stanford. I keep saying Stanford. He was a wide receiver coach over there for a year. Then he was two years. He was the offensive coordinator, quarterback's coach. So he also worked with Oliver Luck. He was then the offensive coordinator from 13 to 15. Kind of a, uh, you know, he's, it's kind of a, uh, you know, reunion with his former starting quarterback and his former starting tight end and former starting wide receiver. He actually even turned down the offer to be offensive coordinator over Virginia Tech for his desire to work with Luck. Then after that, he actually had a stint as an assistant head coach and a quarterback coach for the Browns. He was the Michigan assistant head coach and passing game coordinator from 17 to 18. He was actually the head coach of the D.C. Defenders, which most people don't remember. That was an XFL team back in 2020. He was a three and two. He was a quarterback coach, of course, for the Chargers in 2011. And he is the passing game coordinator and quarterback coach for the Houston Texans. The guy has had a long and illustrious career. He deserves an opportunity to become an offensive coordinator for, to me, a high-quality franchise. And I'm not saying the Browns and the Colts and the Bears and the 49ers aren't that. Well, the Jets aren't. But he deserves this shot. He really does. He's put in his time. He's put in his effort. He's worked with multitudes of head coaches, multitudes of different guys to help him get through. But it's, it's just one of these things that... Um, I think he deserves, he deserves a shot. And I think, and like I said, it's not just from my friend telling me how wonderful he is. Well, it, actually, a lot of it is. <laughs> but he's a guy that he's played the game. He played quarterback from 1993 to 2000, excuse me, 1993 to 1996 with Howard at Howard University. I mean, so he's, he's not a guy that's not astute in the offensive philosophy concerning he was an offensive, excuse me, he was an offensive player, especially a quarterback. So to me, it seems like a perfect fit for the Giants. You want to cultivate a young quarterback. This is a guy that has spent his career working with different quarterbacks, building different quarterbacks. This is a guy who's done that. This is a guy who's shown, especially in, I mean, in college and in the pros, that he can be an offensive coordinator, that he can get the job done. Now, like my friend tells me, he's a high-energy guy. He's a fun guy. He's a guy that, well, maybe that's not the way he is in the building. I don't know. But he's a guy that will relate to his players. Players evidently liked work playing for him and working with him. And I'm not saying anything about, I'm not saying anything about Chris O'Shea. I don't, I, I don't know him. I'm not saying anything about the guy from Kansas city, but don't tell me the guy from Kansas city turned Patrick Mahomes career around. Cause I think Patrick Mahomes was probably a pretty good player when he came into the league. Same. And I'm saying the same thing about uh, our old buddy, Justin Herbert, but I just have a feeling it would be a great hire for the giants. It would be a guy that has developed his, his talents through multitudes of stops and different places and different positions in his career going back to 97. 
It is a guy that has worked with all type, different types of quarterbacks and has worked with the best quarterbacks. In all, Andrew Luck, excuse me, I want to keep saying Olive Luck, that's his dad. Andrew Luck and, of course, our old buddy, the Duck. I think the Giants would be stupid not to make this type of decision. He even helped turn the quarterback a little bit around with the Texans. People forget the Texans did not have a quarterback. They didn't have, they didn't have anyone coming in at all that was going to be people thought was worth anything. And you got to look what you got to look what he's done. And yeah, you people will point out that they have a four and thirteen record, and rightfully so because they were a bad team. But he did well with David Mills as, as his starting quarterback. David Mills started 13 games, won two and nine, completed 66% of his passes, 2,664 yards, 16 touchdowns, and 10 interceptions. Boy, we would love those numbers out of Daniel Jones. And this is a guy coming in basically just <laughs> not basically. This is just a guy coming in who's, who, who, you know, a rookie coming in. And he look how he worked with him. Now people say he was from Sanford, Stanford. I keep saying Sanford. Uh, he was drafted in the third round. I understand that. But just a third round pick that came in and played well enough to help the Texans win at least a couple of games. I think this is the guy we need to look at for the New York football giants. And I'd be excited if they put a little pep in their step and brought in Pep Hamilton. Again, this is Tim with Online Big Blue bringing the best in New York Giants sports talk and entertainment. And as always, if you could like, if you subscribe, we never hear the news. That'd be awesome.